All right, this Labor Day, Washington in the campaign trailer, overflowing with ideas to put Americans back to work and a little bit of blame, right? Uh, Thursday, President Obama unveils his jobs plan, and it comes as African Americans face the biggest uphill battle in their search for employment, the biggest battle in 27 years. Joining me to talk about this, Robert Kuttner, co-founder and co-editor of the American Prospect magazine, and Nicole Mason, executive, direct, executive director of the Women of Color Policy Network at NYU Wagner. Robert, let me start with you, because the optics here of the first African-American president uh, presiding over an unemployment rate for blacks that's the highest it's been since 1984 when Ronald Reagan was president, it is, it is a very difficult uh, politically and practically in this country. Well, it's, it's very tricky for him. It's very tricky for commentators like me. Uh, I think uh, his impulse that he had to govern, not as a black president, but as a president of all the people, was right. But I think his impulse as a crisis president, that he had to be very conciliatory to his opponents, was wrong. Because his opponents, obviously, the right-wing Republicans, are determined to block anything that he might do to uh, put America back to work. And so... He is failing black America and white America by not fighting harder. And uh, this is not, as a, as a black man, this is just, I mean, there have been a lot of uh, white guys who were uh, relatively weak presidents in the face of strong opposition. So he's got to deliver jobs for all the people. Right. And then that will help blacks disproportionately because blacks have been suffering disproportionately. So, you, so the president weak on jobs, non-existent on black unemployment then, Robert, essentially. Well, but I think uh, it, it, it's not possible for him politically to talk about things like uh, specially targeted programs mm -hmm. uh, for African Americans. If you look at the Clinton era when we had very full employment, blacks gained disproportionately because the economy w was doing very, very well. And if he can deliver for everybody, that will turn around the black unemployment rate. Now, that's not to say there isn't still discrimination. There is. It's not to say that black kids don't go to schools that are often worse than the schools that white yeah. kids go to. So it's a both and thing. There are persistent racial problems, but the larger problem is the problem of unemployment as a whole. I want to bring in Nicole Mason here because there, there are different levers for this. The, the sectors that are um, that where blacks are able to enter the middle class, those sectors lost a lot of jobs. You've got the education that he's talking about, it, it, public school education that may not be the same in some neighborhoods. Also the legacy of discrimination, which is there but difficult to measure. The, <laughs> How does this president deal with all of that at the same time you've got an unemployment rate on average of 9.1 percent? Can he? Can he separate out a black unemployment in the jobs question? So in this economy, blacks have been the first to fall and the last to climb, 16 percent. So over the last couple of years, the black unemployment rate has jumped 7 percent. And this idea that a rising tide lifts all boats, it's just not going to work. And that's what we've seen before from the vice president's middle class task force and other sort of Washington initiatives is like, look, if we can get the jobs market rising for everyone, that will help everyone. We're not going to start targeting specific sectors. Do you think that's the wrong approach? Well, I think that's the wrong approach. I mean, if you have a broken arm and you have a, a, a scratch, you're not going to put a Band-Aid on a broken arm. You're going to really dress it head on and put a cast on it. And I think that's what the president has to do to stem unemployment in the black community. Why is he? I mean, I haven't heard him talk about black unemployment. I haven't seen this big push to talk. I mean, we've seen Maxine Waters talk about it, Tavis Smiley, Cornell West. I've seen others. There's a frustration building there. What should the president do? The president has got to take this on head on. And I know that he uh, is really walking a tight rope, but he's going to have to, if he's, if he's going to, if he wants to win in 2012, he needs African American Americans and he needs Latinos. So he's going to have to address this unemployment rate head on. But would people who are frustrated Frustrated about this, really, not really vote for the Republican. I mean, like longtime supporting blocks of the president, would they really go Republican? Is that maybe what he's worried about, or not worried about? I guess. Well, I mean, I think for for African Americans, Obama enjoys an 80 percent approval rating. Right. It was 90. It's you know, a B is not an A. Right. So he still has he still has an enormous amount of support from African Americans, and I don't think they're going to vote Republican. And so what he needs to do is say, you know what? I hear you. I'm going to really address this issue head on, and we're really going to start to look at policies that not only create jobs overall, but really start to chip away at this problem in the African American community. You know, Robert, I think, you know, gosh, that 16.7% unemployment rate, I mean, when you look for black men, it's even worse. For, it's 19.1% it's for black women, it's 14.5%. Um, what kind of policies can the president put forward that can help the jobs market, but also narrow this gap? 
I think uh, a massive infrastructure program. Uh, I think uh, assistance to state and local government. I mean, it's not just the, the unemployment problem, it's uh, the cutback of services that disproportionately uh, help poor people and uh, African Americans. So the Republicans are not going to support any of this. This is my point politically. He's, he's got to say what he's in favor of and fight for it, because if the test is what will Republicans support, he might as well just uh, embrace the Republican program because they're not going to support anything that he proposes. In this era of budget cutting, though, I mean, you're talking about getting rid of government jobs, you're talking about shrinking the size of government. Isn't that getting rid of people's jobs? Isn't that something that can, will continue to, 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 hurt, to hurt this demographic? Absolutely. Uh, blacks, because there was less discrimination in government, uh, disproportionately, especially blacks with college educations, took government jobs. When you, when you destroy government, you're destroying black paths to upward mobility. So he's got to say, damn the torpedoes, we'll deal with the deficit once we get a recovery going. And the way to recovery is to put people back to work. Now, I agree that there are some targeted things that need to be done, but uh, even though a rising tide doesn't necessarily lift all boats, it's a lot better than a sinking tide. Hmm. And if you get the economy back on track with employment, yeah. That's going to disproportionately help African Americans. Yeah, well, it's a complicated issue um, with so many it's different. It's very complicated. You know, and there's no there's no simple way to solve it in five minutes. But uh, both of you, Robert mm -hmm. Kuttner, Nicole Mason, let's get the conversation started, right? And uh, just bring some awareness because the highest unemployment rate for blacks since 1984 is is a tragedy in the largest uh, largest economy.